Hey guys, it's Kelly with San Francisco Moms Blog and Mid Peninsula Moms Blog. Today I am putting away all the Halloween stuff and we are pulling out all the Thanksgiving Day stuff. So I wanted to do a little video for you to show you how we organize some of our decorations and um, kids books and stickers that go along with the holidays. I don't want this stuff to stay downstairs. Um, I don't want it to be in our normal closets. I don't want the books to be in their rooms. I want them to all stay together in our Halloween box in our attic and come out each year. So let me show you what I'm packing up and what I'm saving. Some of this may seem super crazy, um, but it's really great um, to pull out each year and the kids get really excited. So in the first Ziploc, I have a bunch of Halloween stickers, I have pencils, I have a Halloween straw, I have a little ghost ring, a little black cat. These are silly things that you could totally toss and throw away, um, but it is kind of fun when you're unpacking the decorations to already have some stuff in the house um, for the kids to get excited about. I just throw it in a big Ziploc bag. Here I have some Halloween napkins. These were some napkins that I used this year in my kids' lunches at school. Um, you can see there's a couple different designs. Again, you could totally toss these, um, but it's really great because there's like 20 napkins in here. So that'll work next year for the month of October's lunches. I also have the kids' books. Um, so these are just some of the Halloween books that we love. I don't want the kids to keep these in their bedroom uh, because they'll get destroyed. <laughs> and so I put them away with our Halloween decorations. And then when we bring the box out next year, they'll be like brand new books. Um, the art. So as a mom, I love to keep my kids art uh, projects, but you can't keep everything because that would be crazy. Um, but I do keep a couple of things um, that I can then put out for decoration in future years. Um, so just pick one or two, you know, art things that they did this season and put them away. Um, and then the rest of the stuff you can, you know, take photos of or whatever. Um, I have some banners. This is like a black uh, bat banner and a black spider banner. These are banners that we hang in our kitchen um, for decoration. Um, here's a coloring book. Again, I don't want this to go with my normal arts and crafts stuff. Um, I keep it totally separate. Um, this coloring book still has a lot of empty pages, so next year this will be really exciting. Um, and here I have some printout coloring sheets that we just downloaded from the internet. Again, it'll be like brand new next year. Um, what else do I have? Oh, these are really cute. These are little Halloween cups. Super cute. But I don't want them in my kitchen year-round. So I store them in our Halloween box. Um, and I have some more books. These are just some decorations. Um, but you get the idea. So I keep everything in one box for one holiday. Um, I do this for Christmas, Thanksgiving. Um, I have an Easter slash St. Patrick's Day slash spring box. Um, with all of those books and toys. It just makes it a little bit easier to stay organized um, and it makes it more fun when we open up the boxes because the kids really do feel like they're new toys, new books, um, and it just makes it a little bit easier on everyone. I hope this was helpful. Have a great holiday season. Thanks for watching.